Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we are learning about the nodes and the child nodes, these concepts we are learning, right? So now it's time for us to learn about the return types. So we have seen the different return types. For get element by id or query selector. So we got any return type of element object you have already seen. That's an element node. And for get element by class name and for this get elements by tag name. For these things you have seen that uh, we are getting something like uh, HTML collection. So that return type is HTML collection. So when you try to see about this query selector all. So when you try to do this query selector all, we are getting another return type that is nothing but node list. So what are these, uh, what is the difference between these two? So HTML collection and the node list. We have seen that, uh, we have seen about the element object or element node we have seen. So that, that one we have observed, that is a pretty straightforward. So what is this collection? So this HTML collection is collection of element nodes only. And node list is also collection of nodes only. What is this one? So what is the difference between those two? So let's try to uh, <clears throat> analyze this one in detail. Did you remember about the access method? So we have seen about the different access methods like get element by ID, elements by class name, tag name, query selector, and query selector all. So these are all the different types we have seen and also we have covered the videos regarding these things also. The written types of this one are element object, HTML collection, like this we have seen it. So which we have discussed it afterwards. So now we need to understand about the HTML collection and the node list. Now we will see about the difference between the HTML collection versus the node list. So what is the difference between those two? Node list can contain any node type. We have also seen that uh, different types of nodes we have seen something like element node, comment node, text node. So like this we have seen the eight different types of nodes we have seen it. Um, sorry. So that means within this collection, it can have text nodes, comment nodes, element nodes, etc, etc. Like this we can have different types of nodes. So that means whenever you are trying to do query selector all of something like this means you will get a written type of node list and this node list can contain any type of node. So any node type it can exist. But an HTML collection, so this is the main thing, HTML collection can contain only one type of node that is also the type of node is nothing but an element node. So this HTML collection can contain only one type of node and that node is nothing but element node. Okay, fine then. So we understood the difference between those two. Node list can have any types of nodes. That is nothing but element node, comment node, text node like that. And whereas this HTML collection can contain only one type of node that is nothing but element object. Okay, fine. So this is fine. So then what is the real difference between those between them? So, so these, uh, other than this, what is the real difference between them? HTML collection can be accessed by their name, by the ID or by the index number within that collection. So we can access that one by their name, by the ID or index number within that collection. A node list item though can only be accessed by their index number. So this node list can be accessed only by their index number. So that is the main difference. And the real difference is different. So this is very important. So the real difference between those things is very important. HTML collections are live and the node list items are typically static. So this is the main difference which we need to understand it. The HTML collections are live. So that means these are live and the node list items are typically static. So what is the meaning of this one? So what HTML collections are live and why and what is this node list items are typically static? What is the meaning of that one? So let's try to see this one in a real time in a practical example. I want to show you in a practical example. So here we are having this uh, <coughs> code, right? Nodes.html and I'm removing this code. I'm writing here. So node list versus, sorry, node list versus HTML collection. So node list I am having here UL and here I can have li item one and another one I am having item two and another one I am having item three. So this is the example. So if I try to see this one in an output, so here we are able to see node list versus HTML collection. And this is the ULL item. So this is a pretty straightforward. So we understood. So we have created a ULL element and we are having three allies. Now let's go to the script. So I am creating a script and let's catch this list items. So list items I am catching this time with the HTML collection. So that means doc document dot get elements 
by tag name. I'm using tag name. You can also use the class name also. So tag name I'm taking. And let's console the list items. So I am consoling the list items. And also I am consoling the list items dot length. So this is this is the list items dot length. If I try to refresh this page, so here in the console you will be able to see the output html collection we are able to get three items and the length and the length means the total count of these li items which it has captured is three so this is correct so far it's correct fine it's perfect now what i want to do is so here if i go into this one so this time what i will try to do is i will try to dynamically add an another list item okay i will try to add dynamically another list item so whatever the code i am trying to write it here so forget about that one i am dynamically adding another li through the javascript so we'll try to learn about these all the traversing the dom and adding the elements and all those things we will try to learn in the next coming sessions first let's let's be with me and try to observe this one so here i am trying to add for adding a list item we need to take element node so not the html collection so here i am going to the parent node okay parent node means ul and here i am appending document dot create element of a like so i am adding this one dynamically so this one is i am adding here dynamically and now what i am trying to do i am trying to console it here again i am trying to console the list items and list items dot length so what is the output let's try to see it. if you try to see here so here we have added an empty item okay there, there is no item name here so we have added an empty item so when this html collection when i am trying to see the html collection the li has been automatically added so that means these are live so automatically when you are trying to console so this will typically take from the dom dynamically so this is the this is the nothing but li uh, this is nothing but live so live html collections are live so whenever the dom manipulates automatically manipulate and all those things means automatically the list items which is having the html collection will be updated dynamically let's see about the node items so how the node list will behave so i am commenting out this one all and here i let 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 me write the same code using the node item so let list items is equal to document dot query selector all so we need to take this time query selector all of li and let's do the console dot log list items and also i am doing console dot log list items dot length so let's see what will be the output for this one if i try to see this this time we are getting an a written array of node list why because we are selecting with a query selector all and here we are getting the length as three okay fine let's copy this one appending child and all those things and i will paste it at the bottom okay and we'll do the same console.log so this time what will be the length so normally we know that list items this time it has become four so previously it was three now we have added dynamically the li li item one list item so this time it will be four now the load list see still it is showing it as three only but actually we are having four list items where in the html collection it has given you the length of four so that means dynamically it is getting updated when the javascript or the dom got manipulated whereas the node list are typically static so but the first time when you got the nodes so those are the only final so it is not updating accordingly now if you want to get the updated node list what are the actual length of actual count of this node list means what you need to do again you need to add this again you need to call this one and you need to check it here see now this time you got it as four so that means we are again trying to run this query selector all this one all so this this takes some performance heavy issue this, this is the performance issue other than that everything is same so now you understood that html collections are live and node list are static so when this dom or elements or any elements are got updated node list doesn't pick those all dynamically updated elements and whereas the html collection is live so this is all about the difference between the html collection and the node list hope you understood about this concept if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you